Okay, quick stargazing PSA. The Orionid meteor shower is peaking tonight, and conditions are basically chef's kiss thanks to a dark moon and clear skies. Here's the game plan in under two minutes. When, late tonight into pre-dawn, roughly midnight to 5 a.m. your local time, with the sweet spot around 2 to 4 a.m. That's when the radiant, the spot meteors appear to come from, gets nice and high, where, anywhere dark, like really dark, parks, fields. A backyard, turn off porch lights, let your eyes adjust for at least 30 minutes, and please don't keep checking your phone. That blue light resets your night vision. Don't stare straight at Orion's shoulder near Betelgeuse. Instead, lean back, look 45 to 90 degrees away from the radiant so meteors have longer, brighter paths across your sky. No binoculars, no telescope, just you, a wide sky and patience. Orionids are fast, like 66 kilometers per second fast, so they're zippy and can leave faint, lingering trains. On a good night, you might see around 20 meteors per hour under dark skies. That's one every few minutes, sometimes in little bursts. You're literally watching dust from Halley's Comet burn up in our atmosphere. Same parent as the Eta Aquariids in May. Different side of the orbit, different season. Bring a reclining chair, bring a blanket, warm layers, a thermos. Face east to southeast after midnight, but keep scanning. Meteors can streak anywhere. If thin clouds drift in, be patient, they often pass. If you can, give it at least an hour. Meteor watching rewards the unhurried. Photography, tripod wide lens, 10-20 second exposures high ISO.